They are here to ensure that each child gets to and from school on time, but how safe are our school buses? Michelle Farrington reports. Just how safe are school buses? Have you ever had that question before? Well, today we have the answers. Between the hours of 7 a.m. and 3.15 p.m. each weekday, students are traveling to school on buses. Now, I'm not referring to the public transportation such as jitneys, but instead, these yellow school buses, like the one seen here, owned and operated by executive tours. Buses have been rendering their services to schools on the island of Providenciales for over 20 years. When contacted, manager of executive tours, Algie Mizik, had this to say in regard to school bus safety. Uh, reference to your question um, related to uh, a child standing in the school bus door in a downtown area yesterday. Um, the buses, there are, there are bus stops downtown, as you would note, on, on either side of the street, in addition to the uh, pedestrian crossing. Uh, what we do in most cases is either stop at the pedestrian crossing so the child can get off the crossing safe, uh, safely, or we stop at the, uh, the bus stop. And in most cases, uh, even before the bus approaches the stop or the, the stop, you find the kids that are getting off, they begin to migrate towards the, uh, the front of the bus so uh, they can be the first one off. Because of the bad behavior displayed by students on school buses, Mizik and Principal Lloyd Fearon of the Clement Howell High School will be coming up with a way to resolve the problem. This year in particular, there's been a, a distinct increase in poor behavior on the uh, school buses from all districts. That is five keys and both upper lower bite and the leeward uh, the bite buses. Um, the reason being, uh, speaking with the principal, there has, there has been no incidents of fights on the school premises this year since the, uh, the government has put in place uh, security surveillance at the school uh, from uh, spent security. What happens now, because of the increased surveillance at the school with, uh, by, by manned security guards, uh, the kids now take their, their gripe uh, from the schoolyard onto the uh, school buses in the evening when they, uh, when they uh, get on the bus. Executive Tours, along with Principal Lloyd Farron of the Clement Howell High School, will join forces to implement video surveillance on school buses. This way, they get to see firsthand who the perpetrators are. Nichelle Farrington, WIV 4 News.